It's a very old and a very cheap laptop, but I will continue to use it until it stops working. <laughs> yeah. And you notice that, um, it's, if you're curious, you notice that this is not Windows. Yeah. I can get more life and power out of the laptop if I use this operating system. Because if I tried to do what I'm doing using Windows on such a small laptop, it probably would kill it. It just couldn't handle it. Because, you know, it uses a lot of memory to record the video and, you know, all of this. If any of you have ever done that. Uh, okay. Scalars and vectors next. These are words you might already have heard. The scalar and the vector. So this lesson is not really difficult compared to the last lesson. We're just looking at basic definitions and basic words, really. So if you can write this down, please. Scalars and vectors. You have that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, so we're just going to look at the vectors and uh, scalars in the first lesson. So does anybody want to try and give me the definition of a scalar, which they might remember from high school? You think you remember it. Go for it. It has a direction. Oh, no, you went for the wrong one. No, that's not a scalar. No, no, it's the other one. Do you want to try again? or? That's the one, yes. Yeah. Uh, a scalar is something that has... No direction, but has a what? It has a magnitude, it has a size. It has only a magnitude. What we mean by that is a size. And it has no direction, yes. Yeah. So for example, I'll give you some examples. Examples of scalars are walking at one step per second. This is a scalar. What's the size of this scalar? One step per second, yeah. This is a scalar. However, walking at one step per second to my home is not a scalar. Why not? It has a direction. The direction to my home. This is not a scalar. Yeah. Okay, so for the exam, this is a common question. What is a scalar? And uh, this first sentence is enough for the exam. So this is the definition of a scalar. In fact, you don't even need to write a size. I just wrote that to help you understand the word magnitude. Key is it has no direction. Okay, can you write that sentence down? Yeah. Continue? Yeah. Okay. Um, a vector. Do you want to go for a vector's definition? <laughs> yeah, because I think you had that one. What's a vector? Uh, direction? Yeah, it has a direction and. Oh, no, no, so close. It, it has a magnitude and it has a direction. So a vector has a magnitude and direction. Uh, for example, walking at one step per second to my home is a vector because the magnitude is one step per second and the direction is to my home. However, walking at one step per second is not a vector. It is a scalar. Yeah. Okay, so if you can write this definition down, the first sentence. Yeah, got that? No. Yeah, okay. You all have that yet? Uh, the two most well known examples of scalars and vectors are uh, speeds and velocities. 
Uh, most native speakers use this words interchangeably, but for physics uh, this is not true. They're actually different meanings, a uh, speed and a velocity. So we'll have a look at what I mean by speed and a velocity. So a speed is uh, the change in the distance per time. So for example, 10 kilometers per hour is a speed because it's 10 kilometers in one hour. Yeah. Uh, as a formula, the 50 km per hour is an example, or 10 meters per second, or one step per second. As a formula, speed is defined as a uh, distance travelled over time taken. Okay, so you need to write this one down. This is um, our speed definition. You don't need to write the example down. Uh, the English and the formula, please. Let me see if I can get the business teacher to be useful and bring the photocopies down. His phone's off. I'll have to go collect it. Uh, okay, did you write this down? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So does anybody know what velocity is? How is it different to speed? Yeah, you think you know? Go first. Yeah. yeah, so how would you describe it as like a sentence? Velocity is the... Good enough, yes. Um, perhaps you made it a little bit longer than you need to, but that definition would do fine. Um, I think I went for something a little bit shorter. I said it's the rate of change of position, also known as displacement traveled per unit time. So I tried to avoid using the word distance because that's more tied to the definition of speed. So uh, I went for position. Yep. Now I, I just want to explain the difference between position and, uh, position and displacement. So uh, I'll go back to this in a moment but just to draw the difference here. This man walks five meters right and then one meter left. So you say his distance is six meters. Makes sense, right? But you say his position or his displacement, yeah, is four meters. Because he is only four meters from where he started. So just be careful, there's a difference between distance and displacement. They're not the same. So velocity is the change in displacement uh, per time. For example, 50 kilometers per hour due north. So it has a direction to the north 50 kilometers. Or 10 meters per second to the finish line. Or one step per second to my home, homebound. They are all velocities. As a formula, Velocity is change in displacement over time taken. So, if I just go back here, let's imagine it took the man one second to do this. His speed is six meters per second. But that's not his velocity. Who can tell me what his velocity is? Four meters per second. No, you forgot something. No, it is four, but they left out something. Yeah, so what would you say here? Yeah, four meters per second. Yeah, we'll just say to the right. In this example, or to the east, or whatever, okay? So please be careful about the difference here and here in the exam. Okay, so just be careful about that. Okay, so please write this definition down as well.
Okay, you have that? Mm, I said a more formal definition to follow, but I think I, that definition is fine. Uh, anyway, displacement is a vector. Uh, it's the position at any point in time. Uh, I explained this earlier with, by example of the man, but I'd like you to write the formal definition down because again, it you know, could be an exam question. What is displacement? Displacement is a vector. It's the position of an object at some point in time. So, for example, his displacement is two meters in front of me. Um, her displacement is three meters uh, at 45 degrees to me. You know. So, displacement really just points to where something is. Yeah. Okay, can I continue? Um, for example, the ship is two kilometers to the east. Uh, the man is three kilometers to the east of his home. These are all displacement vectors. Okay, uh, terms like homebound and to the finish line, they're directions, but they're not really mathematical directions. You know, they're not formal mathematical directions. So we need something a bit more precise. We can't do our physics like this. We need a better way to do our physics. So often we represent vectors uh, with a, a magnitude and an angle um, by using arrows, uh, as both shown below. So if we want to represent a vector on uh, paper, we represent it by drawing an arrow. The magnitude is represented by the length. So, if it is a long vector, it means the size of it is large, and the direction is represented by where it points. We call this the tail of the vector, and this is the head. The length is the magnitude, and where it's pointing represents the direction, obviously. So, if you can just draw this in your notebook, uh, tail, head, magnitude, and direction. Ah, very good. So, you mean as a magnitude? Yeah. yeah. I suppose you could do something like um, the magnitude of five kilograms is just five kilograms. You see, because this is a scalar, it is the magnitude. There's no direction to worry about. I mean, if Ah! Some things are impossible to be vectors. I think you can't really make this a vector. Okay, then five meters per second. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So you mean like if you have something like um, uh, as to draw? Yeah. So, for example, if this vector is, let's say, 30 meters per second northeast is this vector. So if this is 30 meters per second, then this one here must be 15 meters per second northeast because it is half the length, the other vector. So it's your choice, but whatever you choose, when you draw the other vectors, it must be the same scale. I think we might have an example like this coming up. Um, can we continue? Do you have this? Okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at some examples here. So, we want to draw these. So, we'll draw these um, together. So, maybe you can just write them down and then we'll draw them together, the following vectors.
Okay, did you write all of them down? Yeah. Yeah, you have all of this? Yep. So let's start drawing them together now. Okay, so the first one is 5 meters per second north. What's the biggest one? That is the biggest one. Okay, so we'll say this can be um, vector A. Now, what's the next vector? B. Okay, so that needs to be a little bit shorter than this one. So we'll say um, like this long. Okay, so that's B. That was east, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's C then? West. Okay, that is the same size as A. So that would be like uh, here. Okay, what's the next one now? Ah, okay, so that would be the shortest one so far. That would be like this one. Now it gets more interesting. What's the next one? North of east, yeah. So, I don't know if anybody knows which way I should draw this one. 30 degrees north of east. So, where do I start and where do I move? Start at the north and move to the east, yeah. And uh, what did I say? Uh, tree, was it? Yeah, so this here is 30, and this is um, E now. Yeah. Okay, the next one is tree again, but this time north, 30, west. So where do I start and where do I move? Yeah, so it's actually the same, but just on the other side. Right, now... What about this word? One meter per second, bearing 30 degrees. Does anyone know this one, bearing? When you use it like this, it means start at the north and go 30 with the clock. So, bearing measures it from the top around like this. So, it's actually the same as um, the earlier one, except it's shorter. So, I'll just use a different color. It'll be like here. Um, this is G. And finally, 2 meters per second at 30. So if I just say at 30, what do I mean then? From which one? North, south, east, west. What's your choice? Uh, I think you were right the other way, north of east. When you just say 30, yeah, it's from um, this way, 30. Because you know, if you measure angles in maths, you always start here and you go around that way. Yeah. Uh, what was that last one then? H. Okay, good. Can I continue? No. Not yet? Okay. Yeah. Are we all just waiting for you? Or are we waiting for anyone else? We're waiting for you too, is it? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Is he drawing these too neat? Is that what the... Is that... Are you like drawing these super neat or something? No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, right. I think I'll just do another example of something a little bit harder, maybe. Or maybe not. Mm, do I want to do a harder one? No, I'll let you try it by yourself to see if you can do it. That would be better. Um, okay, so what I need to do now is I just need to go to the photocopier to get your questions. Um, 
We have a double class now, don't we? Yeah. So I tell you what, I usually like to give my students a break in between the double class. It's a little bit sooner than I would like, but I have to go to the photocopier to get your questions. So if you want to take a short break now, and then we'll come back and we'll start in a few minutes and we'll do the second lesson, okay? Um, I'll get both worksheets. We'll have two lessons to do. Okay, so uh, just make sure you're back in about five or six, maybe even seven minutes, um, and then we'll continue with the lessons. So if you want to go to the bathroom or get coffee or something, you can't. Thank <laughs> you. 